Should be a fun old school Big Ten football game. Jack Dunbritton. Charlie Jones with a good return as he gets across the 40 out to about the 45 yard line. Here comes a blitz on first down. And the pass rush gets home for the Badgers. So hard to diagnose who is coming and from where. It's a loss of a couple. Something that Wisconsin's defense does so much. Inside linebacker blitzes and man on the line of scrimmage. Burks drops right under where. Obviously, you don't see the ball too much when you're Travis Etienne's backup as Mertz floats one to the sideline. Climbing the ladder is Danny Davis, and he pulls it in inside the 40. They shift in motion, and they get Danny Davis releasing off the linebacker, and it's just play-action pass allows Mertz to hang in there, double hitch, and throw that ball to the sideline to Danny Davis. Beautiful job of getting formation, and then getting a guy in Danny Davis. Four-man rush over the middle. He's got Chimray Deacon into the red zone. Watch his eyes, Bob. Stares to the left to just move coverage. He gets Kerner to drift over there, and that allows that in route to come in to Deacon. Play action. Mertz floats it. Inside wide open. Jake Ferguson for the touchdown. Here's Ferguson right here. I love this call. Talked about giving him a chance down in this red zone. Little flashback. Look at everybody on Iowa's defense. He does a great job of just coming down. Thought the Michigan game and the Notre Dame game were two or three plays away from being significantly closer outcomes. Breaking free is Braylon Allen. There goes the freshman inside the 30. And ends up diving into the kicking net. Just watch this block. Ferguson come in, chop off the linebacker, and then Allen being physical enough to bounce off tacklers. That net stood no chance, huh? Good job covering up the football. It's 10 for 11 since this one from only 29 yards out. And it is 10 nothing, Wisconsin. That's Please. nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why he's calling me friend, though. <laughs> That's a sack to start off the drive. For Iowa. This is a confusing part though. They're gonna blitz Chanel and then drop Burks. Inside linebacker goes. Burks drops and then you got two offensive line. Only a three-man rush. Petrus lost the football. It was stripped away. And who's got it? It looks like the Badgers do. Nick Herbig on a speed rush. Knocked it out of the hand of Spencer Petrus. Line of scrimmage. That allows Herbig to get one-on-one. -on -one. Watch the dip. Underneath the right tackle, a little burst jump, and then drop the shoulder underneath the tackle. Speed rush, and then look at the swipe at the football. What a play by the sophomore. You see how he swipes at the ball? He's not trying to go for a sack. After the play was over, where does the ball line swipe it away? Wisconsin bench. Absolutely no lights with that out warning. by Herbig, who has First down, Wisconsin. had such a year and committed so much in this offseason to become a difference maker on their defense and Benton excited on that fumble recovery. Uh, before Wisconsin took the ball away. <laughs> Kelly Martin. Did he lose the football? On the exchange, he lost it and the Badgers have it inside the two. Move between Spencer Petrus and Ivory Kelly Martin. Just his left off tackle. The ball's placed in his belly. Absolutely, that is the right play by the quarterback or a good handoff by the quarterback. Kelly Martin just never closes the pocket. Quarterback's job, get the ball into the belly. Running back's job, close. And it looks like Kelly Ivory Martin, Ivory Kelly Martin. Quarterback snap. Martin steps it himself. Touchdown. For Wisconsin's offense, they put their big boys on the field. Graham Mertz quarter. You don't try to bend him into the middle of the field there. Just a little bit of a better throw by Grammert's feel-wise, gives this guy a chance to make a play. Hawkeyes have all three timeouts. Still plenty of time on the clock to score before halftime, but they need a third down conversion here. Petrus, traffic at his feet, squeezes one in again to Laporta. What a catch by Sam Laporta. Over the middle, Petrus, one, two, three, it's not there. 
The puck collapses again. Down goes Petrus. Only a four-man rush, but it still got home. And once again, it will be a punt for Iowa. That's a loss of five. This ball gets snapped from about the 42-yard line, and that's Getz. Petrus, you got to do a better job of climbing the pocket. You're almost 10 yards deep. Climb, climb, climb. Those tackles against good pass rushers are going to try and run past you. Now climb up. Use that big frame to get up in that pocket. That yard, yard and a half is a big deal. Once you pat that ball two, three times, and you're a big guy like Petrus is, you got to know those guys are running the hump and coming. Power, speed, he can bend, beat blocks a bunch of different ways. Well, there's a crease for Tyler Goodson. And a first down on the ground as Goodson will just about double his yardage for the game with that 11-yard carry. Linderbaum, the center, and the left guard working together. Watch their reach block as they go together. Right hand pass off by shot to Linderbaum, and there's that huge crease. Indirect. Again, Johnson inside the 10. Drives his way down inside the 5. The wide receiver with speed and then power. Yeah, speed, and he follows Laporta. Watch 84, lead block on this underneath. He gets out on Burks. The strength by Johnson to run through some tacklers. And now ball at the two-yard line. This is an opportunity for quarterback sneak as well. Petrus, quarterback sneak. Potabon gives him a push. Does he get in? Again, no signal from the officials. There it is. That's an Iowa touchdown. from making this a two-score game. Initially, great play by Wisconsin defensively, but just the push, and that final push by Goodson is what allows that ball just to get. Florida in motion. Another hand off to Goodson. Tries to stop start in the backfield, and Leo Chanel is there to make the stop. Tackle for loss, third down and four. Goodson tripped up. He's going to be at the three technique right here, and he's going to get a backside cutoff down roll block. Oh. So Wisconsin takes over on downs. What a job by their defense. Here's Malusi. To midfield. Carrying a tackler. All the way down to the Iowa 45-yard line. Chris again at 14. It is still Chanel and Allen in the I formation. There's the push and the quarterback from Mertz. And no doubt about it on third down. He is in for the touchdown. Chanel gave him the push he needed. And that's the second touchdown of the day on the sneak for Graham Mertz. They got stopped on the previous down. This time Mertz, look at the push by Chanel. It was that initial resistance by the Hawkeye defense, and then Chanel just comes right from the back. I don't know if he gets it without, but because of that push, they would control their own destiny and look forward to that end-of-the-year matchup against Minnesota. Petrus up the scene that time. Regani is there. Back-to-back -back rifle shots from Spencer Petrus. You're playing, trying to play with as much urgency as possible. Completions are your friend, Spencer Petrus. Petrus under pressure, tries to spin out of the sack, forces it to the sideline. They're going to rule him down. Yeah, he's trying to just throw the ball to the perimeter, and it's not there. Herbig beats that left tackle. I mean, he's in his back, grasp, in the grasp, in the grasp. The backup quarterback, the sophomore from Greenwood Village, Colorado, appeared in a couple of games last year, and now he ends up underneath Noah Burks as he tries to scramble. And now it's third down and seven. Here comes the rush. And there's sack number five. Noah Burks racks up another for the Badgers. They're coming from everywhere. Watch Burks. Sanborn's going to wrap. Burks is going to be in between. They drop Herbig to the field. Great patience. Gavin Williams getting a chance to tote the rock. And now Padilla to throw. And this has been the theme all day, but he is able to outlet the Sam Laporta. Nice creativity for Alex Padilla. Well, a slight upset, maybe, but the first time that it is a home win against an AP top 10 team as an unranked home team for Wisconsin since 1984. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.